Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we have another Midnight Suns prequel short film to watch and react to. So that's what we're going to do. This one is called A New Sun Must Rise. And I believe it revolves around magic and Scarlet Witch. So I'm very, very excited to see this because magic, I love that character so much. I'm so glad she's part of this game. And, uh, and I can't wait to play this game. And it'll be coming out in just under a month from now in early December. And I will definitely be live streaming that probably on my Twitch channel and then taking the footage and then making some cool stuff to put on my gaming YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm going to be all over the place, all three channels covering stuff. But right now we're just covering news and doing reactions and that's for this channel. So without further ado, because I really enjoyed the first one and I believe uh, they already mentioned that next week might be Ghost Rider related. So I'm very excited to watch that one. But uh, but also I'm, I'm down to watch this one with magic in it. So and there's also a Midnight Suns comic book out there right now. I think two issues are out. I will probably wait for the third issue to drop and then I will do like a, a review discussion video on those first three issues just before the game drops in, uh, in a couple weeks. So, all right, here we go. Let's dive into this. I'll put a link to the video down below so you can check it out for yourself as well without me talking over it. And this one had a previously on at the beginning, so I, I cut that part out because <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I saw a clip of it on Instagram and I saw it was like previously on. I was like, oh, okay, so I'll know to skip forward when I do my reaction. Ah, oh, Ghost Rider looks so cool. And there, Johnny Blaze will be in the game. Uh, we kind of theorized that before um, when they mentioned the, the carnival from the comic books that uh, that you know Johnny Blaze is from. And so uh, the, we got confirmation now that Johnny Blaze in the last episode actually is the one protecting the Darkhold right now. And apparently the Darkhold has no sway over him or no power over him. So it makes me wonder what Johnny Blaze is. Maybe he's still a Ghost Rider. Um, I guess we'll find out. All right, here we go. I like the intro. The intro is nice. A new sun must rise. Wanda, relax. Oh yeah. So the animation style. I think has changed. Oh. Now, the, our first candidate so this is, is the caretaker. Argentina, and she's, or as she's known by the X-Men, Magic. Cool. As a young Russian child, she vanished from her family's farm. Uh, she resurfaced that's great. She looks good in this animation style, man. Um, what do we know about her? She's got like a demon hand. Due to her mutant abilities and her yeah, age, nice. Ileana was admitted to Xavier's school. That's cool. So we have the caretaker narrating, talking with Scarlet Witch, and they just revealed Scarlet Witch is Agatha Harkness's apprentice. Pretty awesome. Why did she leave? She prefers to work alone. Nice. Okay, so Magic has left the Xavier Institute, but they're going to recruit her. It's not the 18th century. Why recruit someone who's good with a sword? She's the queen of limbo. <laughs> In her hands, it's far more than a sword. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that is awesome. I wonder if those are moves that are in the game, too. I offer you a throne. My only price was obedience. Oh, cool. Without me, you are truly alone. Who did they say that was? Why Is that Mephisto? You cannot contain me. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Scarlet Witch. Hi, I'm Wanda. I like your catchphrase. Now, let's see what we're actually doing. So Wanda's helping caretaker recruit for the Midnight Suns. All right. Looks like you have this covered. I'll make sure none get behind you. <laughs> nice. Oh, Wolverine just chilling. Oh, uh, Steve Bloom. Watching over a youngin. And doing my best not to step in. Nice. 
Yankees. But they gotta learn to fend for themselves. That's cool. I love the opening of the portals and stuff. That looks really cool. Nice. That's so awesome. Just bodies flying out of the portals. It's so awesome. That's cool. All right. Oh, team up. So in the game, there's moves where you can combine two supers between the two characters. So it's like they showed it in their last live stream where it was like Iron Man did a rushing beam Why attack here? into Wolf, and then I the enemy went into Wolverine's claws. So that kind of reminded me of that. I hope I didn't step on your toes. No, you know not to fight my battle for me. So what do you want from me? I don't want anything, but I wouldn't mind someone. Voice acting's not bad. I, I wonder if these are the same actors from the, why, the game too. Get off the streets. There's a place I'm staying that's safe. Nowhere is safe. Not from. Not from them. Hmm. The Abbey is outside of reality as we know it. Whoever those creatures serve won't be able to find you. Huh? You should know. I don't do teams. <laughs> Neither do I. That's why you're perfect for my new team. <laughs> Looks like someone made a friend. Cool. I'll give my best to Agatha, would you? <laughs> I, I so. Wolverine, what I what I like when they do it, they don't do it a lot, but when they do it with Wolverine, um, I dig it. I'm gonna let the the, the game trailer play out here. Um, he's been around so long, like uh, just alive. Same with like characters like Namor and, and Blade. I feel like those guys have just been around a long time, um, like in years, you know, <laughs> essentially. So I like when they know characters, you know? And so, like, him just being like, yeah, okay, tell Sarah, uh, tell Agatha I said hi. Um, and just them doing that with Wolverine in this universe where he's just, like, he, he's been around and been in so many battles that he kind of knows everybody. It reminds me of um, different attitudes, but in the DC universe, Nightwing is like that. He's pretty much been on every team ever in the DC universe. And because of that, has made friendships with pretty much every hero and, and even some villains in the DC universe. And Wolverine feels like that with uh, in Marvel. He's just someone who's always around. If there's a fight, he's there to be a part of it. Um, and when there's not a fight, he's there to start one. <laughs> so different mentalities, obviously, than Nightwing. But I like that. So him just kind of, you know, him wanting to be Logan about it. Like, hey, I'm, I don't want this young child to, like, fight this battle herself. Um, it's just the innate protector in Logan. Um, he was always like that with Jubilee and, and Shadow Cat and all these other characters. So it was cool to see him do that. But then, you know, uh, Agatha kind of be like, or Sarah, I'm sorry, Sarah, the caretaker, was kind of like, eh, I think she's all right. Plus, Scarlet Witch was already there, just kind of keeping an eye on her. Um, so it was cool. Yeah, let the kid, you know, let the kid train. You know, they got to they fight sometime. Um, but I kind of dug that. Oh, it was neat. I, you know, that's a recruiting one. So, you know, like any recruiter, Wanda knew what to say. She, she cased her psychological profile of magic, getting answers from Sarah, the caretaker, and then going in and being like, hey, uh, you know, I, I, I think you'd be great for my team. Well, I'm not really a team member, you know, team player. Yeah, neither am I. You know, so we're kind of the same. It's like standard. Some of them are true and some of them I think were just recruitment lines. She knew exactly what to say. Um, so, yeah, so there you go. Uh, you know, they could tell that, that Scarlet Witch is is uh, someone who's trained by Agatha Harkness because she probably also talks like that where she's kind of recruiting, you know, trying to get you to learn more spells and everything. So, yeah, I mean, for the greater good, I guess, in some way, but um, but just funny to see that from from Scarlet Witch, who is uh, a playable character in the game, but also an enemy you have to fight in the game, I believe, as well. So I don't know if she's going to be someone like you start off with and you build her up, and then at some point in the game she gets taken away from you. I doubt they'll do that because um, I know, like, Final Fantasy VII, the original one, got a lot of flack about building up a character and then that character, you not having them in your team anymore after a certain point in the game and, and people getting mad about that. Um, so I think it's you You probably fight her midway through the game and then inherit her, inherit her on your team. Um, and she's probably going to be super powerful, you know, because she's Scarlet Witch. <laughs> she is super powerful. But these shorts are cool. That's kind of the purpose of them is to give a little bit more backstory 
like in the last episode, the first one, we it showed the backstory of Lilith and the Hunter, and it had a different animation style. This one had more of a CG, like uh, Spider-Man MTV, you know, kind of uh, cartoon style, um, which I, I dug. And, uh, and then I think next week we're going to get Ghost Rider. So then at some point, I'm sure, unless Blade is in the Ghost Rider episode, they'll probably combine those two, maybe. Or Blade will get his own episode, which that would be awesome. I would love to see that. Uh, but we're going to build the team, which is Nico, um, Robbie Reyes, Blade, and Magic, I believe, are the four members of the Midnight Suns in this game. And then because the threat is so big, the heroes that don't get converted to Lilith's side or, or possessed, like Iron Man, Captain America, they join the Midnight Suns in helping them. So they are still Avengers and Wolverine's still an X-Man, but they're just temporarily teaming up with the Midnight Suns to battle this big threat. And, and I think just to give players more of more options for characters, but then also because it's a threat so big, like any comic book crossover, you're going to need multiple teams teaming up and, and taking part of it. So, um, And there's also some crossover events we're going to be talking about coming up. We're going to talk about the original Midnight Suns comic book from the 90s, um, Rise of the Midnight Suns, that crossed over the Midnight Suns book, um, the Spirits of Vengeance book, the Blade book, the Morbius book, and the Darkhold book. Um, are, and I think Doctor Strange? I know Doctor Strange is in it, so we're going to talk about that graphic novel. Um, I have the collected version and the single issues. So we're going to get into that coming up before the game releases. And then also there's a, a prequel novel written by one of my favorite writers, S.D. Perry. And we are going to definitely check that out as well. I'll probably cover that while I'm playing the game. I don't know if I'll be able to get it and read it in time before the game comes out. But I'll definitely be covering that book uh, for sure. Probably like a chunk at a time. You know, I'll read like 10 chapters and you know so on and so forth. And we'll just do videos on those. So a lot of Midnight Suns content coming up. And there are a lot we've done before too. And a lot of Ghost Rider and all that stuff. All folded now into the Spirits. Uh, or it was called the Highway to Hell show. Now it's all you know factored in and, and kind of merged with Seek and Destroy. So those episodes are on the Seek and Destroy playlist. If you want to check them out. Seasons 2 and 3. We've covered a ton of Midnight Suns. And we're going to cover a ton more coming up. I'm very excited for this game. And I'm very excited for next week to watch the Ghost Rider episode. So let me know what your thoughts are on this short and the other ones. And anything about the game you want to talk about down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue talking down there. Thanks for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And for old time's sake, see you in hell. Peace.